Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you. Found some awesome stuff as usual. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and show you what I found. I've seen some people already hauling these and I'm, I'm willing to give this a try. It's a different coffee. And these are for like a regular coffee maker, not a pod coffee maker. And they had three different flavors to choose from. We grabbed one of each just to give it a try. This is called the Sanko Caribbee. And it says imported coffee. Breakfast blend is this one. And it's six ounces. And it shows you on the back, like actual directions, cold filtered water. And it says one tablespoon of coffee per cup. And I think this is just regular coffee. I don't think this is instant. It doesn't say anywhere on here that it's instant. If you guys have tried this, please let me know. And this says it's processed and packaged in Mexico. And the best by date is May of, I think it's 24. So nice long shelf life on this. And like I said, this one is the breakfast blend. They also had hazelnut and they had French vanilla. If you guys know if there's other flavors, please let me know. I was looking to see if maybe they had a decaf. They did not. But I think this is worth trying. $1.25. And it seems like all of the best buys are May of 24. So nice long shelf life. $1.25 for six, six ounces of coffee. I think that's a pretty good deal. I hope it's good. Coffees like this have been kind of hit or miss for us at the Dollar Tree, but why not give it a try? <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we saw this, thought we'd pick it up. This was a go-to back in my childhood. And Tab. Do you guys remember, ladies my age, gentlemen my age, do you remember Tab? I lived on Tab, loved it. But they had the RC Cola. And it says, me and my RC, and it's a two-liter bottle. Want to give this a try? I remember picking this up a few months ago. It was in the store and it's back. A two liter bottle of soda for $1.25. I think that's great. That's about what I pay for the, like the Sam's Club, great value type brand from Walmart. So, and that's a name brand. And then Hubby picked up a couple of his V8, the original, and it's 100% vegetable juice. And it is an 11.5 ounce can. And every once in a while, he likes having one of these. So we just, you know, when we go to the store, we do pick up a few just to have here. I'm not a super big fan of this type of, like the tomato type juices. Not a big fan, but he likes it. I like the other V8 ones though, like the, the smoothies and all that kind of stuff. And then I picked up a little thing of these. I'll separate it and put it in the kids' Easter baskets. Not quite sure how many is actually in here. It is a 2.43 ounce. How many servings? Then we can figure it out. 2.5 servings, and the serving size is three pieces. So there's definitely plenty in here for me to put in each of the kids' Easter bags. I think they all like Twix. So yummy. And then in the, um, the medicine section, I know they have these off and on in the store, the actual Ricola brand of the cough drops, and they were there, they had a whole bunch. So I went ahead and picked up one bag. You get 10 of the drops in here. These are my absolute favorite cough drop. I love these over anything else, and I throw some in my purse just to have on hand. You just never know when your throat's gonna get dry, you have a coughing fit, and I just like having these on hand. I'm not sure if this is the greatest deal for these or not, but it works for me. And if you guys haven't tried these, they're they're very, very good. They're made with Swiss Alpine herbs, cough suppressant, and it says great tasting, effective relief, and it has all kind of natural ingredients in here. Peppermint, elder, wild thyme, whorehound, hyssop, mallow, th thyme, lemon balm, linden flower, and sage. I just, I love these. So just picked up one bag just to go ahead and put on the shelf. I think I had still have a few left from the last time I picked them up, but grab them again. And then they have all their Easter eggs out. And I thought these were super cute. They're animals. 
they have sharks and starfish and little little fish. It looks like a little Nemo fish in there, little puffer fish, all types of different ones. And then they had this one and it looks like it's a tiger and a giraffe and a cow, a monkey and a koala bear. And then this was the last one of the animals that we saw. One of you said you saw dinosaurs. I haven't seen those yet, but I will be on the lookout. And this one has, what are they? Maybe a hippo and a cat, a zebra, a raccoon, and an elephant. So picked up those. Every year, whenever we're around, around the kids, we have a little Easter egg hunt. And I usually color code it for each one of the grandkids. You know, our grandson is one color. Our littlest granddaughter is another color. The grandladies are another one. Our other granddaughter is another color. And they each know what color they are to go and pick it. And then I'll have some gold eggs with special stuff in. And each child gets one of those. But I need to find gold eggs. I'm not sure if I have the eggs or if I left them at Allison's last year. So I need to check in my Easter bin to see that and then go ahead and pick up, pick up new fresh ones. But these are really cute. So these will actually go like in their Easter baskets. I'll just put, you know, one or two little pieces of candy in those and put them in their baskets, just fun. And then going along with the Easter basket theme, I pick these up every year. I pick them up for Easter and for Christmas. These are their big gift, like gift bags, these cellophane style. So I just put everything in there. That way it's easier for them to carry home. It's easier for me when I'm organizing everything. Just put everything in here. I'm gonna use those big plastic Easter eggs and those bags that I got from Kylie and Kendall. And then everything will go in one of these. And it's a two pack. So I think that's a great deal. They're called Easter bags. These are 22 inch by 25 inch by four inch. And you get two bags in here. And these are the polka dot ones. And it does come with the little twisty ties as well, silver twisty ties. So this one was polka dot. This one has little Easter bunnies on. It's probably gonna be hard for you to see that because they are kind of clear, but there are Easter bunnies and carrots on this one. And then this one has chicks and Easter eggs. So I have five grandkids, there's six bags here. That works. And it's nice having a spare because you never know when you might rip one because these aren't the greatest quality, but they do well. So grab those. I didn't see if there was another style or not. Usually things are in fours, but I didn't see that. And then they had these pouches out. I cannot remember if I grabbed these or not. I do not think I did, but it's okay if I did. I need to go upstairs and look to see what I've already put away. I picked up those like really thick cardboard binders, three ring binders, and I can't remember if I already grabbed some of these, but if I did, these will go to a couple of the other grandkids. But they're made out of like pressed bamboo. I thought that's really interesting. And it just says binder pouch. It has a zipper. The zippers are real nice on these too. Three rings to put in your three ring binder. So I did pick up two. So I'll go upstairs when I'm done with this video and see if I have them already. And if I do, I do. I'll just look for a couple more binders. I think that's excellent. I have never in my life seen a bamboo pouch. And you can feel it. Like it, you can feel the texture in that. Interesting. And then they still had their like springtime Easter plates and napkins out. So I did grab a couple more because you just, you never know. And plus, if you guys have been following me, you know, I love these. I like having them just for me and hubby to use on the daily. Just, they just make you smile. They make you happy. And this is by Spring Fling Paper Plates and it's a 12 count. And these are a nine inch square. These are a Greenbrier product. But I like these because they are a little bit deeper than a traditional paper plate. Nice quality, nice size. I don't know if you can see how pretty that print is. It has little white polka dots on the mint green with the really pretty pastel flowers. 
And I never did find any of the pink silverware. I mean, I don't even know if it's out there or not. The really pretty, it's silver with the colored handle. I only found the three colors, so I'm assuming there is no pink. But if you guys know that for sure, let me know. And then for the plates, I got the matching napkins. And these are just kind of a white background. I wish they would have did the same thing with the mint green and polka dot, but that's okay. They match beautifully. And you get 18 luncheon napkins in here, and they're a 13, 13 by 13 square. Very nice. They're so pretty. I like them a lot. And in the like body care section, they have a whole bunch of the Arm & Hammer body washes out. So I picked up a couple. These are for me. <laughs> I'm the person that uh, in the shower, I do not like the pump tops. I would rather have a squeeze bottle. And I do have some upstairs with the squeeze type bottle. So I'll be changing these out. But I really like this one because it says that it's unscented. And it's 12 ounces for sensitive skin, natural baking soda, paraben-free, vegan, cruelty, 12 ounces with moisturizing aloe. And it says unscented, so that makes me happy. And there is a best buy on this, and it is November of 25. But I do want to smell it just to see. No. No scent. And they also had this one. Oh, and by the way, these are made in the USA. I don't know if you can see the flag there. Made in the USA. They had tropical mango. And this one says, washes away bacteria. Oh, this is a body, this is a body wash. I just noticed this is a hand soap. I thought this was a body wash as well, but it is not. That's all right. Tropical mango with gentle baking soda. Dye free, no parabens, not tested on animals, vegan, 12 ounces. I'm going to smell this. Oh, that smells nice. That smells real nice, guys. I was hoping it was a body wash. I did not even, I, I don't know. And I know they also had, and now I don't know if it was a body wash or a hand soap, but it was in something rose. And I didn't pick that one up. I'm not a super big, like, artificial rose fragrance lover. I just, I don't really like that. To me, a lot of the times, it's very overpowering. So I didn't pick that one up. But the Tropical Mango smells very nice. So this will go in either our upstairs or downstairs bathroom. I like that. So yeah, bummer. I was hoping it was a body wash. And the unscented body wash. And I think that is it for this haul, guys. I wanted to show you, I still have on my nails from Curve Life. They're hanging in there great. I actually took them off after I made that video a few days ago. I had used the sticky tabs. And for me, I think the sticky tabs, it's more for like a one day event type thing. They're just not sturdy enough for me because I am so hard on my nails. So I took them off, took the sticky off, and then I went ahead and glued them on. So many of you ask about me doing a video of showing how I do it. Guys, there, I really can't. There, there's no fuss, no muss to how I do it. I just, I clean my nails, push my cuticles back, clip, clip my natural nails down, and I just use the super glue gel from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a two pack. Sometimes you can see it in a, a three pack. And you can use it again and again because it has the little twisty top. And it's gel, so it's not runny. And I just go ahead and I just, to take the lid off, of course, I just tap it on my, my nail in a few spots and go ahead and put the artificial nail on. You, know, you just have to find the proper size nail. And I put it on, just hold it for a few seconds. And if any of the, um, the glue gets along the edges or wads up underneath, I use one of the orange sticks and quickly just clean it off. And that's all I do. And to take them off, I clip them down as far as I can. And at the Dollar Tree, they have little pink plastic silicone, I don't know what they are, little caps. I put some acetone nail polish remover on a cotton round. I put it over my nail, put the little caps on. I do one hand at a time, so my other hand is free. And I just let them soak for probably 10 minutes or so. And usually they come right off. You may have to do that a second time. But that's all I do, guys. That's... 
that's it. It's easy and, you know, I like doing my own nails. I save so much money by doing the glue on instead of going to a salon. But yeah, this is the glue that I use. It's just the gel. And I'm sure you could probably get this at Walmart or anywhere else too, but I'm in the Dollar Tree all the time. So yeah, that's it. Here's my nails. I'm really liking this this company, this Curve Life company. I wouldn't be talking about it to you if I didn't think so. They are sturdy, but yet they're not they're not like that super hard, plasticky, hard nail, or they're not the really flexible, bendy kind. These are just, they're super nice. And I'm actually liking this length as well. I really like this style. It has like the cat eye effect to it. The, the little shimmer part, it shifts. All right, guys, enough chatter. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and get this stuff put away. And I think I'm going to jump right into a Shein haul for you for tomorrow. I did place an order, my own money. I'm, I'm not affiliated with Shein in any way. They don't know I exist. But I picked up a few things and going to go ahead and jump right into that, I think. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.